Thank you. Can somebody give me a smiley face in the chat if you can hear me now? And you can see a screen that says, welcome back to school, time to organize that binder. Perfect, thank you. Okay, if you are at home or if you are at school, you are gonna need your binder um, out on your desk. You can leave it closed for right now. We're gonna walk through this together. Um, and we're gonna go in and get started. Um, for those of you that already know me, the last time you saw me, I was super pregnant. And so now here's pictures of the baby. This is Noah. And I can't wait for you guys to meet him in person. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Miss Futrell. Um, I was a teacher here at year one and taught our 10th graders social studies for two years. And this year I'm moving into a different role where I will be running a couple of programs here at school, including AVID and our AIG program. Um, and so today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about AVID. So AVID stands for Advancement via Individual Determination, and you guys will hear a lot about AVID throughout the year, um, but it is a program that we have here at, uh, at GLOW, and it's also an elective class um, that some of you will be taking, which I'm super excited about. Um, and basically this program helps us to be more organized. Um, it helps us to think deeper about the things that we're learning in our classrooms. It helps us work better together and it prepares us for colleges and careers. So it's a pretty cool program. I'm looking forward to sharing with you um, more about it. But the first big AVID project that we do is every Glow Girl sets up their AVID binder for the year. And I know that sometimes we've done this in the past, some teachers haven't, some have. This year, everybody across the board will be doing an AVID binder. And so our goal today is to get everybody set up so that your binder is ready to go, it's organized, and you are ready to start learning. So teachers, you are pros at this, but if you're missing anything, uh, just chat me or send me an email with your room location and I will run you supplies. Okay, it's important that you do this step by step with me so that you make sure you have everything you need and that yours looks exactly like everybody else's um, at the end of this today. So the first thing you need to know is that this is your binder. So love it and care for it and make it yours. This is where you're going to house all the things that you're learning this year and it needs to work for you. Um, so make sure you take care of it. The first thing I want you to look for is on the front cover. Make sure you have a uh, school calendar and on the back cover, make sure that you have a sisterhood pledge. If you don't have one of those two things, raise your hand so that your teachers can get you a copy, write down your name. If you're at home and missing one, just chat me. If you are good to go and you have both of those things, I want you to open up your binder on your desk. Don't flip through anything quite yet. Um, just open it up and when your binder is open, your teachers will know that you are ready to go. All right, hopefully we have all of our binders open, ready to go. Teachers, if I get to going too quick, just chat me and I'll slow down. The first thing I want you to look for inside your binder is your pencil pouch, and that should be clipped into your three ring binder, so make sure that's where that stays. This is important because you wanna have your supplies ready for whenever you're learning on campus or at home. Inside that pencil pouch, I want you to make sure you have a few things. You should have at least one pen. You should have two pencils. You should have two dry erase markers and you should have one pencil sharpener. So take a second and make sure that you have all of those, one pen, two pencils, two dry erase markers and a pencil sharpener. Um, you can add stuff to this pencil pouch throughout the year. So you wanna add things like erasers or highlighters or sticky notes, anything that you're gonna need to be able to interact with your notes and be an effective learner this year, use it. What should not go in there? trash. So make sure that you clean this out every once in a while, that it doesn't become kind of like a catch-all for everything else, um, that it stays nice and organized. And that's totally your responsibility this year is to make sure that your binder is always clean, always organized, always ready to go for learning. Okay. All right, let's keep going. 
The next thing I want you to look at in your binder is your dividers. So you should have a pack just like this that has five colored tab dividers for all of your classes. These are the things that are going to divide your binder into each of your core classes. So I'm going to give you one minute. In that one minute, I want you to open up those dividers, clip them in right behind your pencil pouch. Don't worry about the paper quite yet. And also don't lose this little piece right here, which is your tabs. We're going to personalize those later, but for right now, just hold on to those tabs. All right, I'm going to give you one minute to open those and clip them into your binder. Ready, go. About 10 more seconds to get those dividers in there. All right, perfect. The next thing I want you to look for in your binder is you should have your personal student schedule. So take that and I want you to clip it in behind your pencil pouch, but before those dividers. Behind your pencil pouch, but before your dividers. Um, at the end of our time here today, you're going to have some time to personalize those tabs that you just saved from your divider packet. And what you're going to do is personalize those tabs for your core classes. And then your dividers in your notebook should follow the same order as your class schedule. So for example, if you have leadership advisory first, and then you have core one math, then ELA, then social studies, and then science, your binder should go in that order. Does that make sense? So at the end, you're going to have a chance to, to organize that. For right now, all I want you to do is clip in that student schedule right behind your pencil pouch. Okay. All right. Next up is notebook paper. Each of you should have one pack of lined notebook paper. I want you to take a moment and open that pack of paper up. And I want you to separate a small stack into each of those academic sections. So it should be divider, paper, divider, paper, divider, paper, all the way through. Okay. I'm going to give you two minutes on the clock. Go ahead and open up that paper and divide it into all of your sections. Taja, if yours doesn't have binder holes, um, you'll need to hole punch it and then stick it in your binder. For right now, you can put it in the front pocket. One more minute to get that notebook paper in.
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move on to our next thing, which is table of contents. So in your binder somewhere, you should have five table of contents pages. What I want you to do is take a second and put those as the first page in each section. So you should take a divider. Miss Adams, I, I totally see. I'm going to give the instructions for this, and then you guys can have a few minutes to get caught up. Um, take your table of contents, and so right behind your divider. So divider, table of contents, paper. Divider, table of contents, paper. So I'm going to give you like three minutes on the clock to get you caught up. Make sure that you have all of your sections ready. Brianna, which didn't you get? What are you missing? And Ms. Stepanski, just chat me what room you're in. And after this meeting, I'll bring you some table of contents. She's in room 401. Brianna, if you're at home today and um, until we get you some, you can do this on a piece of paper and write the page number, title, and date like I'm going to get ready to show you. Um, but if you have somebody that could come by and pick some up, there will be some in the front office for you. What room is Miss um, Stepanski needs table of contents in room 401. Guys, I'm going to give you about 20 more seconds. Teachers, are we good to go? Thank you. All right, teachers, I'm going to go ahead and move on. If you need me to slow down again, just let me know. Um, so ladies, take a look up here about the table of contents real quick. Some of you might be familiar with this. For those of you that are new to it, the table of contents is basically just like a book. It's going to tell you exactly what should be in that section and in what order. So it is going to be so important this year um, that you update this daily and that you make sure your table of contents matches your instructors each day. So if you um, miss something, it is your responsibility to make sure that you get a copy or make up the notes, reach out to your teacher for support, whatever you need. Um, but your table of contents should ex look exactly like theirs all year and everything that falls under there needs to be ready in your binder all the time. Okay. So let me show you what goes on that table of contents. Once you get your binder organized by your class schedule, you're going to personalize these table of contents. So you'll put the subject right up here in that line. 
And every time you add a page, your teacher will do this with you uh, to get you started at the beginning of the year. But you guys already know this process and will be on your own very soon. Um, you'll put the title right here and then you'll put the date that it goes into your binder or whatever date your teacher gives you for that. Okay. Now, one thing that we're really going to work on as a school this year is heading our paper so that it matches that table of contents. So every page in your notebook should have three things. Every page should have a page title that's right up at the top in the middle. And then over in that right hand corner, you're going to have two things, page number and a date. And all of these things should match with that table of contents. So at any point on any day, I could flip to your math section and say, okay, page four should be, um, um, page four should be long division and it should be page four and it should have the date on there. Okay. All right, other notebook stuff. Um, our teachers will clean out their sections periodically, but don't throw anything away unless your teacher has given you the okay, um, because you don't want to throw something away that you might end up using. A lot of things that we're gonna work on with Avid Strategies this year is taking our notes and coming back to them a lot um, and highlighting them and using graphic organizers and working with your classmates on it. So you're gonna use things in your binder a lot. So don't throw away anything unless your teacher has said that you're good to go. Um, make sure that you don't have any loose paper inside your binder. So a good test is be gentle, but if you can pick up your binder and shake it and nothing comes out, then you're good to go. So you shouldn't have anything just loosely stuffed in there. Make sure everything is in that three ring binder and in the right spot. Uh, we're going to have notebook checks and quizzes and advisory and in your content classes this year. So make sure that your binder is ready to go and organized always. Um, a couple other questions that I get about binders, so I wanted to try and um, tell you before you get going. You guys shouldn't have any spiral notebooks this year, but if a teacher decides that they want you to use a spiral notebook, that's fine. Um, it just needs to be clipped into your binder section, and you'll follow the same rules. You'll have a table of contents, and you'll head every paper with that title, date, and page number. Another question I get is what if you have papers that need to be turned back in or you're taking them to the office or you're taking them home to get a signature or it's homework that you need to bring to a teacher but it's not going to stay in your binder. So you can think about that front folder in your binder as a kind of a one day expiration time period. So what that means is if you have one of those things where you just need to take a paper home and get it signed or take it home to your parents or bring it back to school, whatever, use that front pocket. But if it's gonna be there for longer than a day, we need to find another home for that piece of paper. So it can go in a section if it's a page number, it can get turned in, it can be thrown away if it needs to be thrown away. But the point is, is that you guys are old enough to really take the responsibility of organizing your binder so don't let all of this paper kind of accumulate in that folder because you'll look down and all of a sudden you have 75 pieces of paper in that in that pocket and then we've got to sit down and sort it all out into the pages find what page numbers throw all stuff away it's a mess so what I've been recommending to everybody is spend five minutes a day at the beginning at the end at lunch whatever and just double check make sure you don't have any loose papers in there if you need to file stuff away if you need to update table of contents if you spend a few minutes each day you'll be caught up and you'll be fine so we're all living in a crazy world right now of learning virtually and so there will be some times where you might want to take notes on something but it might not necessarily be a page in your notebook so um, if you take personal notes, that is totally okay, but make sure you don't put a page number unless the, doc unless the doctor, unless the teacher has um, told you. What you'll do is just put that at the back of your section. So you can have it, you can refer to it, you can use it, but I don't want you to get confused and it mess up your organization for things that match your teacher's table of contents in the pages, okay? Um, you should also have a whiteboard in your binder, and if you haven't, I think they're working on it. Um, your whiteboard can live inside your binder, um, so you can transport it between class and a home and when, once we're back on campus, um, but it's not necessarily a page in your binder, but yes, it can live in there. So I think um, that we were short on whiteboards, so let's check with the front office and see if they've got some more in 
Um, but I think that they were running short this morning. Okay. I just gave you guys a lot of information about binders. Some of it, I think that you've already heard before and practiced and already froze, but do you guys have any questions about binders? Okay. One more thing I need you to do is find the page in your binder that says how to use my avid binder. This is a cheat sheet for basically everything that I just took you through. It takes you through um, what's required in your notebook and in what order it should be. So take a second and I want you to clip that behind your pencil pouch where you put your class schedule. Brianna, I'll leave one of those at the front office for you too to pick up. Sorry, I don't know how we missed that one. But this will be a nice cheat sheet in case um, in case you need, if you get home and you've had all this information thrown at you today and you forget, this is kind of a cheat sheet so you can go back and see what's supposed to be in your binder and where it's supposed to go and all that kind of good stuff. Miss Stepanski needs a how to use my Avid binder sheet. If somebody can run one of those. Okay. She had, this particular student had no papers in her front pocket. So whatever went in the front pocket. Yeah, yeah. Ms. Stepanski, we're working on it and we'll send somebody with those supplies. Okay. No problem. Okay, teachers, if there's any other loose papers in the binder that I miss, can you guys just help find a home in the right section? And um, I didn't give you guys much time, but you have a little bit of time to personalize those tabs. Um, in the order of the class schedules. Okay. Thank you guys so much for signing on to get those organized. And if you have any questions, um, then I am happy to help this year and make sure that you use your leadership advisory teachers. If you're running into some trouble with staying organized, we can definitely help. Okay. If you're good to go, you can sign off. And if you're missing anything, just chat me. Everything else will be left in the front office if you're working virtually today. You guys can pick it up whenever. Thank you.